Hey guys, and welcome back to LPT Guys Final Cut Pro Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this slide before and after effect. I used this effect in one of my previous videos, and I had a few people reach out to me on Twitter asking how I did it. This is actually a very simple effect you can achieve without having to download any plugins. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to connect with me in the comments below, or on Facebook or Twitter. Links to my accounts in the video description. To achieve this effect, first thing I need to do is make a copy of my clip by pressing Command C and paste it above the original clip by pressing Command V. The bottom clip will be my before and my top clip will be my after. I'll select my top clip and add some color grading to it. For demo purposes, I'm going to emphasize the colors just so the difference in the before and the after image is clearly visible. Next, I'll select my top clip and move my playhead to the first frame of my clip. In the effects browser, I'll scroll down to masks, select the draw mask effect, and apply it to my top clip. Before adding any control points, I'll zoom out on my viewer just so I can see the whole picture. Now I'll add one, two, and three control points. I want my fourth control point to be directly above my third one, so I'll hold the shift key on my keyboard before adding my fourth control point. Holding the shift key will align your control point directly above the third control point for a perfectly vertical line. Now I can close my mask by clicking on the first control point. Since I'm going to animate this effect, I need to add a keyframe. In the inspector, I'll scroll down to masks and add a keyframe to my control points by clicking this keyframe button. Now I'll click and drag the playhead ahead a couple seconds. In the viewer, I'll click and drag the wireframe between control points 3 and 4 across my clip. As soon as any adjustments are made to my control points, Final Cut Pro automatically adds another keyframe to my clip. From a zoom drop down menu, I'll select Fit and review my clip. To add another effect, I can copy my original clip and paste it as a third layer. Since the top layer is always the one that's visible, it hides my effect in the clip under it, so I need to ripple trim it. I'll select my top clip and press V to disable it to see the clips under it. I'll set my playhead at the end of my original effect and ripple trim my top clip to the playhead. I'll re-enable my top clip, add a color correction to it, and apply and animate the mask effect, just like I did before. Depending on your needs, you can have as many layers as you want for this effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, let me know by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Lots of Final Cut Pro tutorials here and new videos released weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.